the hell are you doing, OBS? Great, I got two OBSs open. you <laughs> I wasn't gonna stream but I've got computers to fix <clears throat> speaking of which this bow time you did some board work yeah <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. I've been I've been watching House of Moths stream for the past two hours, watching him fix an iPad. This wonderful thing. equipment here oh no yeah you 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 were right mm. all right what we got here is a poor poor MacBook air no power 2017 model bread and butter air yeah yeah let's let's see how bread and butter it is <laughs> it's probably going to be more like sour milk watch it turn on when the streams over oh they get an orange light. 22 milliamps. See that? Oh, you can't even see that light, can you? Move your hand, dummy. Yeah, orange light. <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter and Jekyll Hyde. 22 milliamps. Oh boy. All right, missing PM Sleep S4L. This stream's over. Good night. Just kidding. I already took the back screws off. And the. My customer did the honors of removing the SSD and not including it, so. Yeah. Hello. A shed load of those? Of what? Oh, eye devices? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you can already see that the little rubber fan shroud's missing, so that's great. Uh, I don't see any signs of gross corrosion. I got a little. A little stain right there. Got a little stain right there where the SSD goes. PM sleep S for L issues, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's power it on real quick and measure a couple of power rails. 
Sorry, I'm going to ignore chat for a minute and actually measure some stuff if I can. Here, I'll put my... I'll put the DMM over here so you can see, actually see what I'm doing. Besides dropping my probes on the ground. Probably ruining the tips. And we got PB3V42 because there was a light on the charger, so we don't have to worry about that power rail. What about PP bus? Well, A56, so we know what that means. We're not missing PM Sweep S4L. What about 5? We are, however, missing our 5 volt power rail and our 3 3. So, how much you want to bet there's something corroded on the back of the board? Maybe my SMC is dead. We have a short on any of those power rails? Let's see. <sighs> no. No short there. Oh! Bingo. 200 milliohms on our, th on our uh, PP3V3. That's not good, so yeah. So we probably have corrosion on the other side of the board. Almost guaranteed. Uh, I don't need to open that. So we're going to go ahead and pull the board. It's guaranteed. Get that out of the way. Where's my tweezers? Corrosion, yep. Probably. We'll do scope cam in a minute and see if we see what we can find. Get this board out of here. TPS is possible, yeah. Yeah, because that generates the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volt power rail, or yeah, 5 volt and 3.3, .3, so it's possible. Or something on that line on 3.3. .3. You got it, Pedro. It's possible. We'll find out. Get this organizer box out of the way here. All right. Play nice. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I wasn't gonna stream, but I have a lot of I have a lot of computers to fix. <laughs> I was contemplating just going to bed, but uh, my customers won't pay me to go to sleep. <laughs> they don't pay for, pay me to sleep, unfortunately. They pay me to fix. And fix we shall. <laughs> Almost got the board out. out of the way <clears throat> let's see see what we got here blurry That is U7501. That's a chip that generates 3.3 and 5 volts. Doesn't look too bad. It's a little overexposed there. Not quite clear. 
Best excuse for an all-nighter. Customers want they <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want our computers. SMC area looks a little dirty, but... About our backlight. Oh! That's not good. Damn. It's hairy. This is a hairy board. Are those bridge pins on the TPS chip? No. That's just dirt. Or it's uh fuzz. Yeah, it's just fuzz. Yeah, right here, I think that is the problem. Pubes, yeah, exactly. Ouch. We'll look at the schematic, the board view real quick. Switch over to flex board view here. Eh. Right there, PP3V3S5. How much you want to bet that that that's... Well, we know that's the power rail shorted to ground. Because, see, it goes to this inductor here. And that's where we measured. And we have two ohms. So I bet you if I pull that cap off, our short would go away. And that is a CD3211, also known as U3210. Which I believe is our for Thunderbolt. Why is my PDF not showing up? Oh. Come on. That's our 3.3 .3 volt high volt power mux that powers our Thunderbolt port. So. Yeah. And that's going to Are going to this chip or from it? Yeah, that that capacitor is sitting on a loop that basically, or that, I'm sorry, comes in from PP3V3S5 to that U3210. So, hmm. Do we have something close to here that I can test? Oh, the, the little, well, uh, the little cap above it, <coughs> which doesn't look like it's gotten any damage. A little dirty. Do a little diode mode action here. Um, yeah, yep, I would say that's our problem. We're going to knock that cap off with some hot air real quick. Let's see if we can't get rid of that short, eh? Okay, gone. Get out of here, little capacitor. You're ruining you're ruining my logic board. Soup. Oh my soldering iron tip is messed up. Mm. 
Now where is my tip cleaner? Oh. Am I still streaming? <laughs> Nobody's saying anything. Am I still live? Can somebody wave or clap or something? I have this weird feeling like... My stream is stuck. I'm gonna move this so I can see. So I can... Touch what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go get my iPad. Where's my iPad? Let's see if I'm still streaming or if. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Optimize logic repair is live. Am I live? Hello? <laughs> okay, I'm live. <laughs> I can hear myself talking. <sighs> oh, thanks. All right, back to it. Oof, looks messy. I'm going to have to fix those. Fix those pins. What? Oh no, OBS crashed. Would you like to copy the crash log? No. So what does that mean? That's weird, my computer said OBS crashed. But yeah, I'm still live, I can still hear myself talking. For now, anyway. Touch up all these uh, legs here. Oh, no bridge pins. Giving me crap OBS. This board was picked at random. Hey, get what you pay for. You're probably using a PC. Yes, I am using a PC. I'm using my custom built PC. It usually works, but. 
whoops, put that in frame. Looks like I'm still recording too. I'm trying to record and live stream at the same time, which is probably not smart. Before I solder a new capacitor on here, I'm going to check for short. Yeah, my CPU usage is at 10% right now. I'm not sure that's what you're talking about, but... Let's go back to overhead real quick. We'll go back to uh, scope cam. We'll go to overhead and see if we still have a short, which I know we're not going to. Let's see if our short is gone. Get out of the way, microscope. Yeah, the first few record uh, videos I recorded and put on YouTube, I was using an old 13-inch um, MacBook Pro, and it could not handle it, and it kept ruining my videos. 428 ohms. That's so. That's ground. That's still kind of seems a little low. I don't know. Point three four eight dialed mode. I wonder. I have another board sitting around. Of course I do. Ha! Ah, do I have another board sitting around? That's that's hilarious. What do you got in resistance and diode mode? Yeah, four hundred ohms. So that's not not all far off. Yeah, I know Flexboard View has OB data for it. I just I'm using the old version of Flexboard View still. I'm I'm a little behind the times. I'm waiting for an ultra stable release. I'm actually going to I was thinking about helping Paul Daniels out and seeing if I could if there's some board values I can contribute. So what am I thinking? We're gonna put a new capacitor on there. We're going to put a fresh pre-owned certified pre-owned -cert, pre certified capacitor. Or certified pre-owned, yeah, that's what I meant to say. It's trying to be funny. Oh, get my donor. What do you know it? That one's missing. The very same capacitor. There we go.
Yeah, I asked Paul um, in his last live video stream, I asked him what boards he still needs data for. And he was asking for, kind of, kind of asking for help. Stay. A1534. I don't hate you. You hate yourself because you're working on an A1534. <laughs> uh. You're a masochist, Pedro. What are we, 26 minutes in? And this board's already fixed, probably. Man. Tell me I, I have to fix two of them. Selling it for the screen, no returns on. Oh, gotcha. On Flea Bay. The wonderful tink sound of the scythe plucking away junk. Exactly, but why? Why would you do that to yourself, Pedro? All right. Let us see if that is the only reason this board is not working. You know what? I need. To, I should probably inspect the rest of the board. Shouldn't I? I should be a good technician and checked. Check the rest of the board. It's dirty. It's definitely a dirty computer, that's for sure. Or dirty logic board. Or it could definitely benefit from an ultrasonic cleaning. Yeah. Gross. see anything else nothing corroded anyway 
All right. We're going to give you the we're going to give you the up close view of the fan. Fan cam. Five hundred and twenty milliamps, and that right there is a spinning fan. Measure some power rails now. Splan fin. That's right. CPU's nice and warm. You got five volt power rail now. Three three. One point two. Got our 1VO5. And best of all, CPU V core is 1.8. But I know that's not good enough for you guys, right? You wanna see you wanna see a flashing question mark folder, right? Fine you big babies. I'll put it back in the chassis. Jeez. Oh, come on. Oop. Get the tester DC board off there. Now, we're not going to put this fully back together because I'm going to clean this board. It's ridiculous. Because when I work on logic boards, when they haven't been worked on by someone else, I kind of adopt them as my children, so I tell my customer, well, my customer already knows because they're a business that if I work on any of their machines that they are now my children for at least a year, and if something happens, I'll fix it. That is, unless they let some other technician touch it, and that, in which case I abandon it. It's no longer my child. Come on, little keyboard, trackpad, flex, get, get your butt in there. Mm. I'm going to toss a screw in here. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to change diapers on a dirty toddler when it's someone else's kid. <laughs> yes, I laugh at my own jokes. We're also going to put a, a fan shroud in here. Like the rubber, the little rubber piece that's missing here. We're going to replace that. I've got tons of them sitting around. All right. Oh. That shield on that DC board connector doesn't look good. Watch it kaboom. My 
cat runs off with the fan whatever it's choose on. Oh, I'm sure my cat would too if I let her, but she always takes off with rubber bands. She loves rubber bands. Oh, any time now, sweetheart. It is 2 o'clock in the morning after all. Linky question mark folder. Oh, they got Big Sur on here. Boo. And they have a dirty screen. I swear every computer I get in my shop, man, I swear people like sneeze on it or eat off of it or I don't know. But I... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I cannot stand having a dirty screen. That's just drives me crazy, man. Yeah, you won't catch Big Sur on my computer. Or a dirty screen. Give it a nice clean. Mojave forever. <laughs> I actually like the icons in Mavericks. I know. Don't hit. Don't hate me. There. That's what a screen should look like. Yeah. I mean, I like Catalina too. I mean, there's my, there's my 15 inch retina. I mean, it's got a couple little dust spots on it, but for the most part, oh, I lied. Look, there's a fingerprint. Dang it. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, hold on. There's one more. So one more thing I got to do to this computer. show me fingerprints and smudges <laughs> yeah all right get off my desk get off my bench you filthy macbook oh man i may have to thermal paste it though that cpu is pretty warm All right, back in your cubby until tomorrow when I can ultrasonic the board. Filthy pig. Now I wonder if I can... I may have to stop this stream and start another one so I can do another another board should I do that or should I go to bed
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I I'm a cheapskate. I've got well, I've got um, I got a sharper tech on Tim's recommendation a few year a couple few years ago. I got a sharper tech. Ironically enough, I didn't even realize it when I bought the sharper tech. I'm I'm in Michigan and they're a local company. They're about a, they're about twenty minutes away from my house. If you can believe that, the sharper tech where uh, yeah, the sharper tech places in Pontiac, Michigan, which is really close to my house. Um, his big beef, I I got I don't I'm not sure what, but I think his big beef was that the heater went out. And his after a year and it happened the same thing happened to me but um i contacted them and they warranted it and they gave me a brand new heating element granted i had to install it but it's like a 60 dollars to them according to them it's a 60 dollars heating element they gave i bought one extra and then they gave me one for the warranty and then they gave me all the adhesives and everything to replace it. And yeah, because I think Tim said something about you not being able to remove the tank, which is I'm not sure what, if he had the exact same model as me, but the tank is actually siliconed to the um, to the box, if you will. So you just have to take all the silicone out from under the lip. Uh, so, I mean, it was somewhat tedious, but it, I replaced it, and it's working fine. House of Moth says, I have a crest, but I've seen $75 eBay cleaners do just as good of a job. The whole ultrasonic cleaner thing is more hype than anything else. Um, yeah, I can't speak on that, because I, like, I've had that sharper tech for three years now, and so my heating element lasted for two years before it died but I you know I use it quite often I probably didn't, don't use mine as much as Tim as TCRS used his but I use mine every day so but mine just died out of nowhere one day I went to go clean a board and it said it, it was reading room temperature and I'm like oh that's not right <laughs> and so I called sharper tech and had to send them pictures of the tank and the model and the proof of purchase or whatever and the, to make sure it was in warranty it was actually like a month before the warranty expired so i like got lucky i went ahead and bought an extra heating element because you know i can't i can't have downtime and have and wait for them to send me another heating element i need you know i need to have one on at least one on hand i have two extras now so Oh, zip it. <laughs> um, I have two on hand, so I can just replace a heating element if I need to, and I'll be down for, you know, a few hours versus, like, a week. I was down for a week, and it, it, it was a nightmare. I'm gonna I'm going to buy a Crest at some point. I just haven't, I haven't really pulled the trigger. There's other tools I want to buy. But I definitely want to upgrade, get a a crest. I'm trying to decide if I want to fix it. I have, an, I have another, I have an 11 inch air that's no power as well. I'll just have to change the stream title. <laughs> Because right now it says 2013 13-inch MacBook Air. I bumped my soldering iron.
Alright, I'm going to stop this recording. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start another one so I can separate. Eh, no, I'll just stick around and just do another one. I'll just put it in my regular playlist. Mm, where are you? Oh, you. Yeah, I think this one. Slot six. Yep, that one's authorized. All right, so we have this mess. <laughs> no power. A little 14, 2014 11 inch air. No power. Let's power it on. We got no light. No light on the charger. 10 milliamps. Oh, great. That's awesome. Let's oh, probably should undo the battery. Yeah. How long have I been streaming? 47 minutes? Oh, that'd be kind of cool if I could do like an hour and a half live stream and repair two computers. That'd be kind of cool. Microscope in the way. And I suppose this one's probably not liquid damaged either, right? Got a screw. Ooh, yucky. Yeah, that one's nasty. That is why I wear gloves. Maybe no liquid, but uh, plenty of grit and grime and other nastiness. See that? Unplug the battery and take their SSD out. Still no green light, 10 milliamps. Measure power rails, of course. Let's see what our PB bus is. Oh, that's DC in. Where's my PB bus? There's my PB bus. Oh, no. 8.18 volts. Oh. That is not what I want to see. That's not what I want to see at all. No. No, no. Where's 3B42? 
3.41. So we have 3.41. Oh, but our PP bus. 8.18 volts. No. No, that's not what I want to see. Don't want to see. PP bus means our SMC is not turning on. If I got to reflow an SMC, I'm going to be irritated or reball an SMC at two o'clock in the morning. That's going to suck. But I guess I started it. Mm. Oh, that's right. This one's tricky. If you ever work on on these little 11 inch airs, there's a screw under the Wi Fi module. Like right there. Be careful, you gotta take the Wi-Fi module out. <laughs> I'm really scared about what I'm gonna find on the bottom of this board. Missing something. DC inboard cable. Speaker. Yeah. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. Hey, get out of there. Bunch of green pro 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 oh no all right so there's definitely an area of concern right next to our system management controller oh that's not good Definitely gonna have to clean that up. What is the board number? The board model of this? Eight two zero thirty four thirty five. Just reball the SMC for good measure. Yeah. Do you want to come do it for me?
Just trying to see what um this chip is with all the corrosion next to it so SMC's here U5740 and this is not populated Oh, you're in Ohio? Oh, nice. That's pretty close. Well, close, closer than I thought. So this is all high side current sensing. This is for airport current sense. We don't care about that. They don't need it. They don't need airport. They don't need internet. What do you need internet for? Internet's overrated. SMC Wi-Fi power enable. That could be keeping our SMC from turning on. <laughs> PV3, V3, S5. Let's clean that. Let's clean that up first and see if it turns on. Could that be it? Could this? Could that be it? And this little corroded area be why our little MacBook's not turning on. All that grungy. And you know what? We're going to burn it out with some solder and flux. All the traces are gone for the pads. Maybe not. A little gentle scrapey scrapey rusted disgusting blown out worn out. Ugh. Gross. So if we can restore this poor little MacBook. Back to working order. Yeah, we're gonna have to get all that off, or it's gonna, it's gonna corrode again, and this thing will be back for warranty. lifted that pad for that test point <laughs> yeah with those those center cables or the center cable and everything. No thanks. No thanks, man. Uh, 
I'm not repairing that test point because that's not needed. Disaster is clean. Let's. Before I mess with this, I'm going to try to turn it on and see if it turns on. You know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to pull this board off the edge of the table. Gently, gently. I'm going to see you. I'm going to look at the SMC and see if there's stuff under it. That looks kind of, that looks clean. Oh boy, oh boy, I don't like that. Oh. Do you see that? What did I get myself into? Yeah, I have a feeling this board is still not going to turn on. Reballing an SMC at 2.30 in the morning. All right, let's see. Do you turn on yet? Or are you gonna make me earn my money? Sorry, overhead camera. SMC is fine, yeah. Fine with all that black. Sludge. Not a still ten milliamps. Turn the multimeter on. Hmm. 820 SMC is not turning on. what circuit that is bb3 v4 2 g3 hot inductor yeah Basically, all the important things that go to the SMC to tell it to turn on. Are we getting 3B42 though to here? Where's a good place to test? Oh. Damn it, unplug the... DC board.
Well, PP3 V42 is at 2.8 volts right here. This is an A203435. Huh. Oh, by my inductor. All right, I guess I'm taking that in, taking that uh, inductor off. Oh, wow. PP, PP3 V42 is back since I got rid of that nasty looking uh, inductor. Probably going to replace all of this stuff around here. Looks nasty. I just want to make sure I got rid of all the corrosion.
what is the value? Of <clears throat> that's L5001. So 30 ohm, 1.7 amp, 0402 inductor. If I can find one on a different board here. Look on an 8200165 board. Oops. Control F. L5001. Yep. Same inductors on an 8200165, so we'll pull it off there. in the same spot <laughs> on a 00165. Float into place, little inductor. All right. So it looks like our PP3V42 was not making it, was being pulled low a little bit by a faulty inductor that wasn't making it to our SMC. So this may turn our SMC on now because, you know, our SMC runs off 342. Though I still need to replace a little few more components on here. Um... Let's see. Do we have a fan spin or am I reballing an SMC at two thirty in the morning? Let's see. Well, this board is definitely a candidate for ultrasonic. Pull my Velcro tie off my cable so I can uh, pick it up higher. Do we lose Pedro? Is he over watching TCRS's midnight stream? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold this one up and see what happens. Let's see if I can. This is. Tray awkward. I don't know. You tell me. I'm gonna close my eyes. Is the fan spinning? Uh, 
is a 3435 so it's gonna spin on off on off and on drawing 400 milliamps CPUs warm and in case Wow, that's super blurry cam. That's a spinning MacBook fan. Yes. And that is an orange light. So we have another fixed computer. Another fixed logic board. I don't like, still not like in the way that SMC looks. Um, I'm probably just ultrasonic the board. Oop, that's mine. I gotta keep that. Yeah, winner, winner, PCH dinner. That's right, pretty much. Um. I still don't like the looks of that SMC. I'm going to ultrasonic it tomorrow, though, and see if I can get that, whatever that schmutz is, under out from under it. And I'm going to replace those other components. I don't have a um, donor logic board for this model, though. Oop, easy, easy on the microscope there, guy. Take it easy. Yeah, because we got a lot of a lot of disgusting pro points. This stuff actually doesn't look too bad. Never mind that, that's fiberglass. This is all unpopulated. <coughs> yeah. Worry about that. don't like the looks of a couple of these caps I don't like you and I don't like you I think the end's about to fall off that one and that one so I'm probably going to replace those both as well um, that one's directly to the left of the inductor that is C3530 these are on important power rail li or power lines too. This is uh, this one's on PP three V three AV ref SMC or PP three V three AS five AV ref SMC. So I think yeah, we should probably replace that. So. C5126 
trying to figure out um, what the value of this cap is. 0 0.1 mic, 10 volt. And on the on a one six five board, oh, it's point zero or it's point one mic, so it's different. Yeah, C fifty twenty is the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to ultrasonic it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to redo the SMC on this. be kind of silly. We're just going to replace those two caps. After I just put flux and was and alcohol and stuff and cleaned all that up, I can see the I can see all the solder balls under the SMC, so I'm sure it's fine. Hang on a second. Just making sure I grab the right caps.
I'm just comparing between two um, two different boards. Since I don't have a donor board for this. I had to mute my sneeze. Alright. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, he usually doesn't stream this late. I mean, I don't either, but... Somebody was fixing an iPad. Not naming any names. You know who you are. Haha, <laughs> it's all good. These little guys are so tricky, They're so small and tricky, if you don't, if you don't uh, have your soldering iron far enough, or your hot air station far enough away, and that little, that little dude's going flying. And he's not coming back.
we're clearly going to ultrasonic this board, so... Because we need to get rid of all this, this surface contamination or oxidation of all these test points. Excuse me. Face itches. Yeah, not, not naming any names, but you know who you are. My microphone picks up every little thing that I do. Putting my programmer away. I can't get the sticker off the screen. All right. Well, other than ultrasonicing this little board, this once dead little MacBook has now got life again. We're going to put him back in a slot so I can get the board ultrasonic. Oops. Clean up my mess here. Yeah, I'd say so. I got two fi two fixes. Can't be mad about that at all. Pedro is falling down the A1534 rabbit hole. You know what? I, ga I gave up on those things. I had my customer, one of my customers, give me about three or four of those that their technician changed the battery in it and it would stop recognizing the battery. 
And after about three or four of them, I'm like, don't send me any more of those. You'll never attempt a board repair on those or ever like on anything. Warned. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. I pass on those. I don't care how much money someone will pay me to fix it. Like, nah. You'll never, you'll never see an A1534 board repair on my channel. Never. Close flex board view. Shouldn't have done that. I had to scratch my beard. <laughs> I realize how loud that is. All right. Well, um, with that, we got two fixed computers that I didn't, I forgot to edit the Forgot to edit my title. <laughs> you're gonna take, you're gonna take up drinking now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. After touching that. Create a new playlist. Call it multi board. Bear. 
All right, well, with that, guys, I'm going to call this video a close or this stream a close. I've been streaming for an hour and 48 minutes. I um, want to thank, thank you for uh, watching and joining and talking with me. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon in the next uh, video. What did Pedro say? I have two left in my house. Sold one on eBay and foolishly decided to use it to test another screen so the second screen works. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good luck with those. <laughs> Alright guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.